this is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. The Royal Air Force Central Flying School at Little Rissington in Gloucestershire, the oldest military flying school in the world, has a pelican on its crest and Patrick the Pelican is its mascot. In heraldry, this bird signifies learning. The school's job is to train flying instructors from this country and overseas. This year, the Red Pelican's aerobatic team, under the leadership of Flight Lieutenant Terence Lloyd, has been chosen to represent the RAF in all the major air displays in this country and Europe. They'll be flying six Jet Provost trainers introduced to the Air Force in 1961. Let's have a look at them through the jet-propelled lens of our cameraman Norman Fisher as he photographs some of their more spectacular manoeuvres. During the first part of the show, the emphasis is on crisp formation flying, and they certainly don't come any crisper. At half time, two aircraft split away from the remainder as part of a further aerobatic sequence. Pelicans have a great tradition behind them. The Central Flying School has been formation flying since 1921. Some of you may remember their displays at Hendon before the war. Here's a flashback to the show in 1937. Much slower in those days, but no less enterprising. One of the Red Pelican's newest and most difficult upside-down tricks is mirror flying. One aircraft a precise reflection of the other. This was one of the final rehearsals for the team's first public show on Whit Monday. After the bomb burst, one of the most difficult tricks in the book, landing the jets in formation. P for pelican, P for precision. Patrick should be proud of them. 